Hello everyone and welcome to another video episode. Uh, today we'll be discussing the F-86 Sabre. Uh, so let's uh, get started. The F-86 Sabre is a very well-known jet. Or is it? The F-86 is a very popular aircraft with airplane buffs. It has a lot of history and a lot of good looks. Loved by its pilots and crews, the F-86 served the Korean War and Cold War with distinction. But there is a huge gap in the F-86 story that no one is bothering to talk about. Historians and museums glance over little details about the F-86 that no casual observer would notice. These details are not the end of the world, but it's fun and interesting to talk about. And maybe these little airplane details would gather more people's interest in these old airplanes. So let's dig in further, shall we? The F-86 has many variants, and before I start, I am excluding exported or foreign-built F-86s, as well as excluding the naval versions of the F-86, which we will be talking about in another video. Today, I want to talk about the country of origin, U.S.-built aircraft, and the details that are glared over by history. Basic point to this video is that the F-86 and U.S. service could be categorized into three different groups, meaning that these aircraft are very different from each other and could almost be categorized as a different aircraft. In fact, my statement is validated by books and even North American tech orders. The first group of F-86s would include the early versions, or slender versions. This would include the F-86A, the F-86E, and the F-86F. The second group would be the F-86D and the f 86 These aircraft was drastically different from the earlier F-86 variants. In fact, North American first called it the F-95. The Sabre Dog also featured a pointed nose and enlarged fuselage, among other features. In fact, the Sabre Dog used only 25% common with other F-86 models. See, the F-86 Sabre Dog is really a different aircraft, but is grouped within the F-86 family. And the third group of aircraft, would I would include the F-86H Sabre Hog, an F-86 that retained an open nose scoop. But wait, the F-86H has a much larger open nose scoop and also larger fuselage than the earlier slender body F-86s. This is to accommodate the afterburner that the H model had. And I almost forgot to mention that the D models had afterburners as well. Uh, the reason for why they had the larger fuselages. The F-86H in particular is very different from the other models. Here we see the F-86F. An F-86F model. The A model and E models are very similar. But as you can see, the F-86F has a small nose scoop and slender fuselage. These versions of F-86 saw action in Korea and served after throughout the Cold War in many locations. Here we see the F-86D Sabre Dog. The L model version was basically the same, just with improved avionics and wing upgrades. The Sabre Dog also introduced the version with afterver afterburner. This caused the fuselage to be larger, as can be seen in this picture. The F-86 Sabre Dog was an all-weather interceptor and head radar. The Sabre Dog version served throughout the Cold War in many locations, protecting the U.S. from Russian bombers. The Sabre Dog held the line until more improved interceptors came online. Almost 3,000 F-86 Sabre Dogs were produced. Last but not least, here we see an F-86H Sabre Hog. As can be seen, the H model had a much larger air scoop in the nose, causing it to look very menacing. Also, the H models has an enlarged fuselage to accommodate the afterburner. Almost 400 H models were produced. As can be seen, the F-86 morphed into many versions, and the F-86 continues to be popular with airplane buffs. Is the F-86 forgotten? Certainly not. Is the types of F-86 is forgotten? Yes, for sure. The F-86 is a favorite of mine, and the Sabre Dogs and Sabre Hogs are my favorite, just because they are different. This video was made in hope that some new light would shine and categorize the F-86 better for history buffs. If anything, it's an interesting topic, and for those unaware of the differences in the F-86, just more reasons to grab some F-86 books and start studying. Everyone can do their part to save history. 
Don't let history die. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and please leave a comment. This is a friendly and family-oriented channel, and thank you for watching.